is Leon on this season being a disappointment? You know, I mean, I feel as though, you know, it's been a it's it's been a disappointing season from the standpoint of wins and losses. And uh, you know, we um are going to, you know, take a good hard look at it after the season, you know, to evaluate, uh, you know, every, everything that's going on. I think that, you know, just the first year, things clicked. And this year, you know, from the beginning, things didn't click. We faced adversity and, uh, you know, we we had some had some tough stretches. Yeah, didn't, didn't really get much out of that, but yeah. I tweeted this out yeah. about a week or so ago. I, I think this is a, it's a disappointing season. Uh, you know, with some with some few bright spots is that we saw Quentin Grimes, Manny quickly, Obi Toppin, RJ, uh, Deuce, Jericho, Mitch, all those guys take another step in their development, just another a leap in their development. Right. The disappointing aspect is there were expectations for the season coming in. We didn't get that. Actually, he'd even perform anywhere close to what his contract value was, and then you have all the antics that go with it. Right. Mm -hmm. You see the Kimball Walker signing. Low risk move, but in the end, it didn't really help us. Yeah, I would say for me, um, definitely de disappointed. Obviously, wanted to build off of last year. Wanted to see the Hawks again and, and beat them in the playoffs or win a playoff series. You know, I, you know that that was clearly what I was hoping for with this team, and uh, I was hoping that the new additions offensively would have helped this team move it move the needle. And I was hoping that the old the old. Um, not additions, but the guys that we re-signed from last year to brought forward this year would help again, namely Derrick Rose. And he was a non-factor. A complete 180 from last year's good feeling. <laughs> Only in New York, Absolutely. bro. Only in New York does that happen. Let's go rapid fire on these Leon um, quotes. Okay, here is Leon on uh, on Julius. What's he saying? Here? Yes, he did. No, Julius loves it here in New York. Wants to be in New York. Um, and... Uh, yeah. Yes, he did. No, Julius loves it here in New York. Wants to be in New York. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, he, he, did he, he actually gave, say that? He gave Breen the head shake, like, move to the next question. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, not, not much there. I mean, you know, not much he can really say. Clearly, he wants to... Uh, boost the guy's trade value up, and clearly he wants to keep the guy's confidence up in the event that they can't trade him. Got to be political there. Let's hear Leon on Tibbs. Here's Leon on Tibbs, ladies and gentlemen, on, on Tibbs' performance. No, I mean, Tibbs, you know, as far as, uh, as Tibbs' performance goes, I mean, again, he's, you know, one of the best coaches in the NBA. Um, so obviously, none of us are happy with the results this year. Um, but uh, he's a guy who, you know, prepares our team better than better than anybody. Um, and, uh, you know, I feel that he's done a good job under the circumstances. Okay. Let's see what he says about a plan. Absolutely. I mean, we have to stick to the plan. We have to take it one step, build one block at a time, be patient. We feel like we're set up, you know, really well as far as like we've got 13 draft picks over the next three drafts, uh, four first round picks. And uh, with regard to opportunities that may come along, we feel like we're very flexible and able to do that. But again, we want to show patience. We want to show prudence, you know, in making those decisions and continuing to develop what we have. Well, I would I would say for those looking for the plan, that is the plan, at least from the front office perspective. He's looking towards the future with, with, with the assets that they have, staying flexible. He's looking to develop what they have here coach has to get on the same page because you want to get the most out of young players that's a fact but also you have to figure out the right mix that makes these young players better to either continue on that journey with the team or get you better players so that's on the coach i think the front office does have it right for the fans are saying what's the plan what's the plan what direction what direction they're gonna keep building and look to get a star he's here to get a star but he's going to be patient in that pursuit. Now he wants to keep drafting and develop. The coach has to get the right combinations in there. That's that's the that's the only thing that's like a little bit awry is that the coach has to get on the same page. Now, 
Some of the contracts, again, questionable. Noel, terrible deal. You got Obi and Randall here. You gave Randall the max contract. You got to untie that knot somehow, some way. So it hasn't been perfect along the way. But Leon is telling you they got assets. They're staying patient. They want to cook with what they have. This was uh, Leon talking more on uh, Julius Randall. Let's, let's hear about it. You know, look, Julius is a passionate, you know, player. He's a person who, um, I mean, last year everything went right. Obviously, this year things didn't go right. But, you know, he's still wound up one of three players to average 20 points, 10 rebounds, and five assists. You know, one of three players in the entire NBA. Um, you know, I think that uh, the, the, the things that happen on the court, you know, you saw some emotion coming out. You saw some things happening. And I think that, you know, it affected his play at times. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, he felt remorseful for some of those things as he expressed, you know, to the, to the fans in his letter that, that he sent to them. But um, he you know, kept working and, and worked through it right up until, you know, the end of the season. So, you know, I think that it was just not being comfortable at times. I mean, it was just not being comfortable. He, he gave it his best effort, um, you know, and he, you know, just the, the three-point shot didn't go as like it did last year. I think teams keyed on him more this year, uh, and he had, you know, make some adjustments. And, um, carried a big burden, but I, you know, I was proud of the fact that he that he did fight through it. They did ask Tibbs to uh, react to that, and his answer was quite political. Didn't really answer it either in the press conference. He was like, "Well, Julius, uh, yeah, the three pointers did go down." <laughs> he he didn't answer the uncomfortable part though. Why was he uncomfortable? This was Leon on the Mitch contract negotiations. Well, with Mitchell, you know, there's been ongoing discussions throughout the year with his agent, and um, you know, those those discussions will continue, um, and uh, will you know continue into uh, for the remainder of the time until free agency. All right, what'd you see from him this year? From Mitchell, uh, I saw Mitchell. Mitchell had a phenomenal year. He, you know, was our anchor on defense. Um, and uh, really took a, took a nice step this year, and uh, even showed us a little bit on offense. You know, I mean, especially that one through the legs, down the lane, and, and and then the dunk. I still want to see Mitch here, man. That's my guy. No, that's my guy, bro. You know, mm -hmm. I, I rock with Block Ness, man. I, I thought he still brought a lot to this team. Yes, the spacing was questionable. It impacted Randall. I get all of that. Uh, but from a rim protection, offensive boards. The putbacks, I, I, you know, I still want to see him here. I just, I don't know. Okay, let me get to the RJ talk right now. Hang on. RJ took a took a great step this year. Um, took a more responsibility. Uh, covered the best player on the other team on a on a nightly basis, and um, has really elevated his game. Um, I can't really put a ceiling on where he'll go, as far as you know. The plan and negotiations, uh, you know, I think we'll keep that private for now. Mm. RJ. Taking private. Now, those of you that have been watching the pregame shoot around, the live coverage on Knicks Fan TV. Anyway, pregame shoot around. RJ and Leon, man, they always chopping it up, man. They're always very chummy. And they always end with a little embrace, man. I always joke that like the deal is already done. They're going to take care of them. Uh, I think it's going to happen, like, yeah. and he deserves the money. Like, there's no question about it. I don't know how you don't pay him and you don't keep this kid as the face of your franchise. Yeah.